Hello, BookTube. This is um, a continuation of the shelf tour of the fourth big wall bookcase. Um, we're just starting the third shelf. So this is uh, part one of that. I'm going to start with Jacques Berzon. This is a Jacques Berzon reader. Um, I'm currently reading his... Um, Biography of Hector Berlioz. This particular book is um, a Jacques Rizan reader, selections from his work, edited with an introduction by Michael Murray. It's HarperCollins Publishers, and it's 2002. Um, contents, uh, there's an introduction by Michael Murray, then... Um, Number one is a pragmatic, view, a pragmatic view of life toward a fateful serenity. Part two is on the two ways of knowing history and science with a bunch of articles. Part three is on what critics argue about. Um, part four is language and style. Uh, part five is some classics. Six on music and design. Seven on teaching and learning. Eight on America's past and present. 9 on France and the French, 10 on crime and true make, uh, true and make-believe, uh, 11 is a miscellany, and then there's a bibliography, an index of names, so you can see how each of those sections sort of looks, a great little treasure, I enjoy him, even though I am struggling a bit with the Berlioz. Then we're going to start for quite a bit to get into um, archaeology. So, the first of these doesn't have a dust jacket anymore. And it's The Adventure of Archaeology, National Geographic Society, uh, by Brian M. Fagan. And you'll notice that there's a lot of Brian Fagan books in my collection. There you go. Um, nice illustrated history of, of archaeology. This is a copyright 1985. I've always enjoyed this particular volume. Uh, Fagan is uh, one of my favorites. He's, he's, he's not only a world class archaeologist, but he's a really, really great non fiction writer. Um, he's also an excellent sailor. He's written some books on sailor. that another one is another big old National Geographic a little older Splendors of the Past Lost Cities of the Ancient World uh, let's see they give us a date here Sometimes it can be a little fun to find in National Geographic. It's 1981. Oh. I'm get the glare off there. That's uh Pompeii, the place I have been to. The next one here is a little different. This is the Rouse Encyclopedia of Archaeology. Uh, the general editor is Gilbert Charles Picard. It's going to be a glare issue when they get these covers on. I'm sorry about that. Uh, translated from the French by Ann Ward, Bruce and Company, Incorporated in New York. And this would be 1972 is the original edition, second edition, 83. Title page. So let me start out, what is archaeology? Doing random pages, that'll give you a good idea. This 
Schleemans. I'll see if you can see them. I lost the page of the Schleemans. How did I do that? That was really weird. Oh well. The book's big enough so it's actually a little hard to handle. So, then we get on to the one that does not have a dust jacket. This is the book that started it all for me. C.W. Serum, Dodd, Graves, and Scholars. God's Graves and Scholars, The Story of Archaeology, by C.W. Serum, translated from the German by E.B. Garside, at New York, Alfred Knopf, 1954. And this fired my imagination when I was a young fella. There's an illustration. It's Howard Carter. That's the Tomb of King Tut, Nefertiti, the throne. Um, Pyramids of Saqqara. No. Yeah, this is this was a fun one. So this is the Cambridge Illustrated History Archaeology, edited by Paul G. Bond. Cambridge University Press, 1996. These Cambridge volumes tend to be very nice. A lot of thought goes into the illustrations as well as the articles. Then... This one here, Archaeology 2nd Edition by David Hurst Thomas. This was my, um, so Holt, Reinhardt, and Winston Incorporated, Fort Worth, Chicago, San Francisco, Philadelphia, Montreal, Toronto, London, Sydney, Tokyo. Um, 1989. So this was my textbook when I was an undergrad in archaeology. It is what you would think it is. It was a good textbook. Let's see if I get any images for you. And this here, Wiley and Sabloff. So Gordon R. Wiley and Jeremy A. Sabloff or Sabloff. A History of American Archaeology. W. H. Freeman and Company, San Francisco, California. And it is uh, the Uh, originally published in Great Britain in 1974 by Thames and Hudson. Uh, I don't see a new date for it, but this would be later than that. So one of Cathord's illustrations, John Lloyd Stevens. It's so basically a history of American archaeology. What a fun book. Those of you know who he is, that's John Wesley Powell. All right, and then here, this is a biography, The Accidental Archaeology, Archaeologist, Memoirs of Jesse D. Jennings. Oh, it's a very, very good 
good arch uh, good uh, biography. It's uh, forwarded by C. Melvin Akins, University of Utah Press, Salt Lake City. So it's uh, accidental archaeologist, so it's not really biography, it's the memoirs of Jesse D. Jennings. 1994. And there he is. He's the younger fellow in the top picture. Here's on some digs. Cliff dwellings. And then finally for this little section, another Brian M. Fagan. This was an archaeology textbook in the beginning, an introduction to archaeology 6 edition. This is not one I used in class, but I had grown to respect him so much that when I saw it at a used bookstore, I grabbed it. Scott Forsman and Company, uh, Little Brown College Division. This is, like I said, the sixth edition. And it is um, 1988. So, that is the first part of the third shelf of the fourth big wall bookcase which was primarily except for the Jacques Brousson um, archaeology and it will remain archaeology for a little while here so thank you booktube